vectors vector is just a line with an arrow that's it so when we are talking about vectors we are talking about a line that has an arrow so this is a geometric line so this geometric trick line it has a beginning and it has an end but when we talk about a vector line it's a line with an arrow yes it can have a beginning it can have an end but it also has a direction so in mechanics mm, when we are talking about the vector line we are actually using the concept of mathematical modeling where everything is simplistic it's not realistic uh, when we have a line with an arrow we are actually talking about go in this direction it's not 3d it's not 2d it's just 1d anyway let's review vector first so when we talk about vectors we are talking about a line with an arrow now the line begins somewhere so it begins here so we call it the initial point the line ends here we call it the final point or the terminal point and it is written as suppose the initial point is A and the terminal point is B we always express it as the initial point terminal point and the arrow goes from initial point to terminal point all the time so this is how we express a vector now when we are talking about expressing a vector that can also be expressed in terms of another concept which we call this one suppose you have a vector where the initial point is O and the terminal point is this so this is the terminal point and this is the initial point so when the origin is the initial point so origin is initial point we call this particular vector the standard position so whenever you have the initial point as O this is called the standard position or simply the position vector so whenever we have the initial point as O we call it the standard position vector so and we write it as O A and we give this like this so O is the standard position initial uh, point and A is the terminal point so that's vectors the first thing that you have to know about vector a vector is nothing but a line with an arrow the difference between a geometric line and a vector line is only this arrow just like this geometric line it has a length it will have a beginning and an end but it has an arrow so the next thing that we have to understand we have to get a sense of how how vectors are working so the first thing that we have to know is how to find a vector so vector can be found using the position vector rule so if you want to find a vector AB it is subtract the standard position vector of B so minus standard position vector of A and if you want to find the vector PQ the position vector rule says so the position vector of Q subtract the position vector of P so all you're doing is subtracting the position vector of the next vector uh, subtract it from the position vector of the previous vector that's all you're doing so this is also called relative position so you can say Q relative to P that means OQ minus OP so when you're saying one relative to the other that's what it means so this is this is the idea now when we are talking about vector we need to be able to see them visually what do they look like if I let me just do this let me have this so I have two axes one horizontal one vertical now I want to represent a vector for representing a vector it is more convenient to use some sense of a direction if I say 
going up so that is north if I say going down here I can say south so this is in the vertical plane so going up or going down then I can say going towards the right that is east I can say going towards the left that is west so this is towards the right and this is towards the left now this thing can be done since vector is more about directions we can use this for going up north we can write this I now this is written like a bold I then going south is given the opposite direction minus I given as a bold I then going towards the going towards the right east it's actually going towards this is not I it is J I made a mistake it is J going up is J going down is I and going down is minus J negative direction going right is I and going left is minus I now this is given as a bold symbol so to, under to express that this is actually a vector line so when you have a line going up we call it J when you have a line going down you have a minus J meaning the opposite direction so the opposite direction is given by negative in vector meaning the other direction the opposite direction when you're going towards the right you call it east or you write it I when you go towards the left you call it west and you write the opposite direction of east which is minus i now this is not possible when you're writing when, you, when you're writing to show that this is actually not a number or a constant it is actually a vector quantity you have to give it in bold but it is not possible when you're writing so every time you write this vector format in ij format you have to write i as underline or j as underline so that means this is a vector quantity so i always means east J always means north. It is very very important you understand the directional quantity of vector in terms of east and north. So this is I and J. A vector can be expressed using this direction. For example, if you have a vector suppose AB expressed in this east-west direction suppose 3I plus 5 or 5j this means if you start from here go three units towards east so one two three so this is three units towards east then go five unit towards north one two three four five suppose this is five so then five unit towards north so go here go here you end up here so your direction is from this starting point to here so this is this is the vector 3i plus 5j now it doesn't really matter that you have to start from the origin all the time for example if you have a vector 7 so 7i plus 3j now this can start anywhere you can start suppose you decided to start from a point here you have chosen this to be the initial point so 7i means going from here 7 units towards east meaning towards the right and then going 3 units towards the north so this would be the terminal point and the direction would be this one again if you choose to go from here seven units towards the right meaning east three units towards the upwards meaning north and you join it so notice that they have the same direction so both of them we call the direction vector to be 3i plus 7i plus 3j meaning go seven units towards the right or east and then go uh, three units towards the north so this is the direction so this is also 
7i plus 3j direction these are direction vectors so it doesn't really matter where you start from uh, you have the same direction so what we call this i and j we call them the unit vectors so i is actually one unit this is the unit vector and j is also one unit so unit vectors this is i i i i like that they're all one unit so i and j they're very convenient for calculating the direction and especially in the direction of north and east uh, one more thing that must be mentioned uh, when we talk about uh, direction vectors uh, the concept of parallel vectors and collinear vectors are very very important suppose you have two vectors this vector is parallel to another vector so parallel vectors so parallel vectors that means they're going in the same direction so we're talking about direction vectors vectors going in the same directions so the basic direction or the unit vector what we are talking about if two vectors are parallel so one vector can be like this other vector can be longer but they have the same direction and then there is the concept of collinear vectors meaning they are in the same line so it could be like this this and this is this one and this and this is longer so suppose this is a b and this is cd so they have the same direction vector they're going in the same direction but they are of different sizes similarly collinear suppose this is ab and this is cd they also have the same direction vector but they're of different sizes so the concept of direction vector is very very important so let me illustrate this concept a little bit more because this is an important idea so when you have a vector like this so suppose you have a vector this vector is i plus j so this is i plus j so i plus j now if you have another vector which is 2 i plus j that means they have the same direction but this would be twice as long now if you have minus i plus j it would mean the original vector i plus j but in the opposite direction now if you have a vector which is 4 i plus j suppose 4 i plus j that means if this is i plus j 1 it would be 4 times long so 1 2 3 4 4 units long so it would be like this same direction but 4 times longer so this is the concept of unit vectors meaning a vector that is one unit and uh, having the same direction but being of different lengths so here you can see that AB suppose AB is one unit so CD is longer but they have the same direction suppose this is one unit this is longer they have the same direction so the concept of direction vector and the concept of unit vector this is very very important idea here and one more thing that uh, that is important is when we talk about vectors we need to know uh, that what is the length of a vector so the length of a vector also known as the modulus of vector is given by this formula so this is the modulus of a vector so if you have a vector xi plus yj remember to underline the vectors then suppose uh, let me use an alphabet let me use the alphabet a to uh, represent this vector so the modulus is given by these two bar signs on both sides so the length of a vector or the modulus of the vector is square root of x square plus y square so this is the length so if you think about going seven units here and three units here so finding the modulus of the vector is nothing but doing the Pythagorean theorem 
when you're doing the uh, Pythagorean theorem you're actually finding the modulus or the length of a vector so modulus of a vector is very very important so from that comes the concept of a realistic idea uh, and a model a mathematical model so when we talk about vector it is a mathematical model so let me review a little bit what we have talked about so far the first thing that we talked about the first thing we talked about is vector line with an arrow the next thing is representing vector we have the terminal initial point and the terminal point then we have finding vectors the position vector rule the position vector rule where we can say the vector a b is equals to o b vector minus o a vector then we talked about the concept of unit vectors the i and j vectors then representing vectors on a graph where we start from the initial position any initial position and we go east and north to represent that vector then we talked about direction vectors So direction vectors we talked about two vectors being parallel so two vectors being parallel does not mean the vectors are identical that means the direction vectors are same one vector can be longer than the other vector and we talked about collinear vectors collinear vectors and finally we talked about finding the length of a vector or the modulus of a vector so that's the introduction to vectors.